hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel my name is rahmat i've got some very very interesting news earlier today i brought out a video about what ghana is doing uh you know due to the coronavirus pandemic we have taken our destinies into our own hands and my country ghana my beloved country is manufacturing its own ppes we are manufacturing our own nose masks our own uh, medical equipment we are even manufacturing uh, low-cost ventilators not one uh, about two companies about two individuals have taken up the initiative to manufacture their own uh, ventilators a lot of people have come up with uh, hand washing materials and so on and so forth and the easiest one that I have seen that almost uh, so many people are doing is the nose mask or the face mask a lot of people are doing this face mask here in ghana so if you go to anywhere in ghana it's easy for you to get a face mask made from african fabrics now this is where it's this is why i say it's interesting it's interesting because countries that we know we all know that are in charge of everything like they are the big wigs of everything they have control over everything i'm talking about us i'm talking about germany i'm talking about france i'm talking about yeah like italy spain and all those countries those are in charge those are the world superpowers and guess what they are fighting just for face masks germany is accusing donald trump of hijacking over uh, about two hundred thousand face masks that were ordered from china that they had ordered from china and paid for them and then those uh, that shipment was coming and it got to bangkok and allegedly the u.s government intercepted it and took it to america can you imagine it's not like uh it's not gold it's not diamond it's not even oil it's it's nothing like that just face masks because they are in high demand it's become like the number one product right now that countries are even i, I foresee them going to war over this and earlier france also accused us of buying in cash a shipment that france had ordered from china i'll show you a video of that one so please stay tuned. It's, it's, it's getting, it's interesting. I find it so interesting because this is a product that people can easily make. And that's why I'm so proud as a Ghanaian right now. I am so proud as a Ghanaian right now. As it stands, Ghana is not importing any PPEs. We are not importing any PPEs from anywhere. We are taking steps to take charge. We are taking steps to manufacture in our home so that we don't have to go and hijack like uh, U.S. is being accused of hijacking. Seriously, you as the United States of America being accused of hijacking um, uh, 200,000 face masks, not, not uh, an airplane, not anything, just face masks. And then they went to China, an order that France had placed, which was supposed to be shipped to France. They bought it in cash. They bought it in cash. Seriously, it's very interesting. They should come and learn from Ghana. They're the new white gold. For the past few weeks, demand for surgical face masks has surged, with orders flooding into China from countries facing shortages. This Chinese plane is carrying two million masks bound for eastern France, just a small part of the 1.5 billion that the French government has ordered. But not all the orders are arriving safely. Ce matin, lors de sur le tarmac en Chine, une commande française de, a été euh, achetée par les Américains cash sur le tarmac et l'avion qui devait venir en France est parti directement en, en, aux États-Unis. France has itself been accused by a Swedish company of having requisitioned masks destined for Italy and Spain. 
The fierce competition is playing out internationally, but also on French soil. The government has reserved all masks for medical workers and is cracking down on the black market of the now precious items. Once they've arrived in the country, the masks now receive police escorts. On a nos véhicules qui sont devant en ouvreuse, le véhicule qui ferme derrière qui est le chef de mission et on s'assure que quasiment personne ne remonte le, le convoi. Le but c'est que ça ne soit pas volé, qu'on ne soit pas qu'on tombe pas sur des guet-apens ou autre chose. Today only four French companies manufacture masks. Their machines are now running 24 hours a day, guarded by the military. They've gone from producing 15 million to 40 million masks a month. Still just a fraction of the 40 million masks that France now needs per week.